it has to be a calling. When you put on your uniform, you just never know what the day is going to bring. You see people when they are at their most vulnerable. And it's why you have to be called for us. What people tend to forget is that we, like you, can be vulnerable. And that we too are human. So who are we? And who is? The library, it will mean that we'll have more doctors or more paramedics coming out of uh, elders and uh, mm. so that's something that you want to see in the future. It's more like uh, an investment, like uh, changing the community through reading. The library was something very new, a great excitement and great uh, because we, we're not used to a library. Uh, I would say our children were gathering around the library, very excited, and everybody wants to be in the library to, to use the library. I just want to say thank you to Diane and her husband, Innocent, for making this possible at EP Primary. Uh, they launched our library a couple of weeks ago and we are so honored to be standing here today and have a fully fledged library, fully functional. One of the things that I find incredible at Innocent is that having that compassion and that care for, uh, for really dedicated to people that we don't even know in the contact centre when a patient phones in. He has, it's almost as if he, he takes personal accountability for getting vehicles to patients quickly then of course yes he does exhibit that care and that empathy towards his colleagues as well and I think that's that's actually exhibited um, in the fact that he got involved in the charity project the concentrate agents they are always in a lot of pressure because uh, we cannot predict how many calls that can come in a day. So, pressure is always expected to be there. The team that I'm with, they are hard workers. Last week on the 16th of this month, it was Saturday, my child was hit by a car. He called me, he was there for me. He was calling me like every day until I come back to work and he was trying to advise me just to stay strong for my child. He was there for me as a brother. Um, he said, sweet guy, um, sometimes forgetting that he is a supervisor, he acts like a brother, a father, a counselor. I think to change other uh, people's lives is more important than focusing on ourselves. We accomplished quite a lot and I'm quite proud of, of my, my idea, and, but I'm more proud of the support that I got from Innocent and the motivation that he, when I wanted to give up, he was supportive and when I forgot about it all, would say, no, I'm going to get the books for you, or the car would be loaded with a lot of things that people gave. We um, took the initiative in a lot of the aspects where I felt a little weak or couldn't really run with it on my own. I had to like go and go pick up the books, and I would put the, the books together and uh, try to arrange them in a different Ages. We are also grateful uh, towards the ER24, uh, which uh, also sponsored a uh, first aid kit to our school, which is very uh, needy uh, for uh, what we are encountering daily with our learners. 
uh, we are grateful towards them because there are a lot of injuries and uh, yes, we will make use of this uh, gift. It's always a thought someone else um, must do it, not me. Um, we are two just ordinary people that decided this is what we're going to commit to until it's seen through the actual thing that's standing here now. We gotta look after the books. Yes, yes, yes. This Who Is episode is part of a new ER24 web series. To see more, subscribe to the ER24 EMS YouTube channel. Like ER24 EMS PTY Limited on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at ER24 EMS. You can also visit our blog. Just search for ER24.info.